The main reason for loss of biodiversity on this planet is the loss of resources. One of Earth's most important resources is water. Therefore, conserving water is a very important part of conserving biodiversity. There are many very specific factors that make Earth a habitable planet, but one of the most important factors is that the fact that approximately 70% of Earth is covered in water. There would not be life on Earth without it. So in short, conserving water will conserve biodiversity for generations in the future. But why is biodiversity so important for the life of the planet? First of all, biodiversity allows for animals to adapt to any changing conditions on the planet. If any of these diverse animals has something different about them that helps them survive in the new environment, that difference may help them species survive in the long run. Many problems facing an animal's or species' ability to adapt to a new situation is human interference with the environment. As humans change the environment more and more, it becomes increasingly harder for animals to adapt. With global warming temperatures rising and available fresh water resources being depleted, animals like the polar bear that rely on ice freezing over the Hudson Bay for most of the year are having a harder time adapting to a shorter hunting season because the ice is melting sooner. Without the biodiversity of plants, food will also be excessively difficult to come by. Farmers plant rows upon rows of the exact same crop, nothing like how plants grow in the wild. So if even one condition changes to a lethal situation for the plants, all of them will die, and the farmers will have to start all over again. With less water, each crop becomes harder to grow, and livestock will also become harder to feed. Biodiversity is one of the biggest factors that controls climate change. Biochemical cycling of greenhouse gases, such as CO2, takes place as a result of plants and bacteria living in the ocean. If these plants or bacteria were to die for any reason, such as pollution of the ocean or environmental impacts caused by humans, this could cause an excess of CO2 in the air, which would further negatively impact the environment. Any body of water is the basis of life for any animals living around it, so pollution of these resources will affect every living thing. Conserving water will positively affect the biodiversity and climate of every ecosystem for generations to come. Every single living thing needs water to survive. Therefore, it is no great surprise that water is important to conserve for the future. If you need anything more convincing than your own life at risk, then conserving water will also save you money because you won't have to pay as much to the water companies. You may also save on your energy bill as well because it will take less energy to pump the water from place to place. About 7% of all energy used in the states is used to move water. So if by now you are convinced that you should be more environmentally friendly by conserving water and thus conserving biodiversity, here are just a few ways you can do that. Did you know that almost 90% of Canadian mills that shave in the washroom sink leave the water running while they're shaving? Instead, if you shave in the shower, not only will it be easier on time for you, but it will also conserve water for the views. You could invest in a low flow shower head that will save water and money. They usually come with different settings and a button to turn the water off while you're washing so you don't waste extra water. You could use your dishwasher. Washing dishes by hand takes up twice as much water and is way less efficient. Another thing you could do is save or reuse plastic bags. Plastic bags may not seem related to water use, but they can be very harmful to wildlife if they end up in the oceans. Polluting water includes littering in it, so dispose of plastic bags properly and only use them when necessary. One good way to save water is to keep a water pitcher in your fridge so that you can pour fresh glasses of water without having to run on them under the tap to keep them cold. An average garden needs to be watered approximately once a week. If you save rainwater, you could not only minimize but potentially even cut out the need to water your garden with a hose.